Wow, I posted like a day ago and we're here for once again. Hello everyone, welcome to KP Ferry, it's Dale here and today we will be breaking down the three new TV spots and a leaked bit of footage from the fight at sea on the boats. And if you don't want that spoiled then I'll pre-warn you when to leave or when to skip. Anyways, with all that out of the way, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe and YouTube has told me that 39.1 of you are not subscribed. So, what are you doing? Subscribe. Go do it now. And comment down below. Comment your theories and what you reckon will happen in Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, let's break them down. Okay, in the first TV spot, we can see Kong rip the branches of a tree. Similar, a bit similarly to the way he did it in Skull Island against the Skull Crawlers. And then he goes to launch it at a barrier he is trapped in, whilst Rebecca Hall's character, Eileen Andrews, said she promised to protect Gia, and Kong did the same. And I think this barrier is involved in their plan to capture Kong and remove him off Skull Island. More on that later. Then we see an angry Godzilla as he's staring at something after his nighttime Hong Kong battle. And he also looks pretty banged up as well, so this fight will be quite even. Then we see Millie Bobby Brown's Madison Russell, Julian Denson's Josh Valentine, Carl Chandler's Mark Russell and Brian Tyree Henry's Bernie Hayes look terrified of something which could be Mecha Godzilla, as if it was Kong or Godzilla, I don't think that would be their reaction. They probably would look scared, but not that surprised, because they look a bit surprised as well. Then the last new bit of footage is of the helicopters carrying Kong start to drop Kong as the thing he is attached to start to break off the helicopters, leading to Kong waking up and what could probably lead to Kong trying to break free, which leads to another TV spot I'll talk about in a sec. Next TV spot shows more of Godzilla rising out of the water, whilst Eileen says there can't be two Alpha Titans. Whilst your basic footage plays, we need Kong, the world needs him, Kong punches Godzilla in the face, that sort of stuff. Then we see Kong leap and holding something as a shield from Godzilla's atomic breath. I don't, it might be a Carl, I don't know what it is, but then we see him slam his axe down in a beautiful shot, leading to Godzilla looking confused, whilst Kong jumps on Godzilla from behind and slams him into the building that ends that TV spot. The final TV spot shows Kong being carried off Skull Island by the helicopters, then we see him being dropped, meaning Kong wakes up and starts to cause a struggle and that leads him to falling from the sky like I just said. And finally, we see another beautiful shot of Kong leaping while Godzilla is destroying the city, looking for Kong, in my opinion. And yeah, that ends the three TV spots. I did actually talk about them as much as I did with the previous ones, but that's because there wasn't as much new content in those. But I'm going to talk more about these things coming up. So, now we see these posters on Godzilla and Kong fighting underwater, making Kong seem to have the advantage over Godzilla. However, I don't think this is this will happen, as Godzilla is best underwater. Kong isn't, so I think this is just meant to look cool, not what will actually happen. As Kong, not Kong, Godzilla was able to dominate um, King Ghidorah underwater and King of the Monsters so I think it would be a walk in a park against Kong then we see Godzilla and Kong having a standoff over a city which will soon be destroyed knowing these two not much to talk about this one I just thought I would include it now we come to the leaked footage so if you don't want to see this skip 37 seconds of the video to avoid this anyways roll the clip <laughs>
So that was cool, right? Man, this film is going to be great. So first off, we see Godzilla get annoyed by the jets in the boats as they're shooting him. So he tail smacks a jet, then he follows it up while the tail is in mid-air and slams it onto two boats. Then starts swimming towards Kong, but gets a piece of the boat stuck to him as the tail on his tail because the anchor gets caught on one of his scales. And he drags that with him to while Kong is trying to break free from his chains, and that is all we get. And I think that was great for 37 seconds of this film. And it's around an hour and 52 minutes. It, it got leaked on Google, it was two hours and 50 something minutes, but now it's changed. So, I don't know. Maybe they're trolling, but who knows. Now, final thing I'm going to talk about is the first proper look at Mecha Godzilla, as he has been leaked with a piece of clothing shown to us here. And by God, does he look amazing. And I think this Mechagodzilla design looks cool. Now, I just want to know what Mechagodzilla is going to do and what his abilities are. Yeah, I know I said finally, but two more things came out at the time of recording the TV spot. This leaked bit of footage, so roll a clip. Shows Godzilla absolutely demolishing something, and I think it could be a apex site or something, or maybe it's something to boost his radiation because he uses his atomic breath a lot in this film, like lots. So this could be a source, or it could be Kong, and he just brut he is just brutally beating the living hell out of him with a direct hit that could do a lot of damage. Now, finally, I'm going to talk about my Godzilla pregnancy theory. Now, I forgot to say in the last video that most of the kaiju are gender neutral, so Godzilla could be gender neutral. And I know some of you could be saying, but Minya needs to be involved, but not necessarily, because Minya was speculated, but not confirmed. So, therefore, Godzilla could be pregnant, therefore is more angry as she's hormonal, or like the Toho films, Godzilla could adopt the egg, and that egg could be sh the one shown at the end of King of the Monsters, and that could be Godzilla Jr. And that's my theory, and that could lead to Destroyer, and in the future maybe see Kaiju like Space Godzilla, Monster X, Gigan, Augur, Kumonga, Batra, Mechagodora, Angurus, Biolante, Kamakuras, Manda, Gabara, Hedora, Megalon, J Jaguar, King Caesar, Titanosaurus, Megagirus. Okay, I'm done now. Thank you all so much for bearing with me. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking, subscribing, and commenting your theories and sharing this to someone you know. Anyways, this has been KP Theory. Keep on theorizing. Okay, I said I was done until I discovered this one second clip. Let's roll it. Now, if that doesn't confirm Mechagodzilla, I don't know what does. I think that is them deploying Mechagodzilla ready to fight Godzilla and Kong, as it says ready to launch, so you can't get any more Mechagodzilla hints than they are, than this. There's nothing better than this. I mean, come on. Now, that's everything, I hope. Until next time, peace out. God! Damn it, every time I tried upload, something else arrived. So China went ahead and decided to make another trailer. So here is it broken down. Kong is yawning at the beginning whilst Gia runs through the forest, moving in. We see the boat scene, blah, blah, blah. Then we see a really interesting scene of Kong sitting on a throne. And people may start to think that Kong beats Godzilla and becomes king of the monsters. However, I believe this is an ancestor's throne. And... Kong species at one stage were king of the monsters and this way the, the throne is here to signify them being king of the monsters and Kong is, just sits there. Then we see Madison and Josh standing 
in what looks to resemble Mecha Godzilla's control room, as it resembles the image I showed last episode, meaning they obviously sneak in and investigate the area he's been kept in. Then we see Ren Serizawa look in the distance at the destruction Godzilla and Kong have caused, and maybe he is thinking whether it's right time to deploy Mecha Godzilla, or maybe he's having second thoughts. Then we go back to the scene where Kong is pushed back and Godzilla is behind him. Well, Godzilla capitalizes on that opportunity and attacks Kong one, once more. Finally, we see Godzilla stand on top of Kong and roar in his face, but it doesn't show Kong roaring back. Maybe Godzilla wants Kong to submit to his rule, as Kong is not respecting Godzilla's rule as king of the monsters, as he's been king of Skull Island, so he's not going to bow down to Kong not Kong, Godzilla, just like that. And maybe this is what caused the war. Kong species wouldn't submit to Godzilla's species rule as King of the Monsters, and a war broke out until one remained. Okay, you thought we were done? Oh no, we got more things. And that is these three images. I'm really going to talk about one of them, as the, the others aren't really as important. So we see Kong holding Godzilla back as he's charging up his atomic breath, and it looks stunning, and Kong has a weird expression. I can't tell if he's worried or confident. Then we see Kong with his axe ready to jump and attack Godzilla, and Godzilla looks like he's just turning turning around to face Kong, so it might be the sneak attack, or the axe attack we see in the very first trailer. Final image is of Madison and Josh and Bernie stand in front of a jaw, and it's obviously Mecha Godzilla, as the colours on the wall are similar to the control room, meaning he is still yet to be launched. And also, it's definitely not Godzilla because everyone is so calm, and that would wouldn't be their reaction with Godzilla in his current mood. Like they would, they look surprised. So, and if they saw Godzilla, they wouldn't look surprised. I just mentioned the group are investigating the area that Mechagodzilla is kept in, and it, that's must where they discover Mechagodzilla in this image. Okay, I'm drained. This has been KP Furia. Peace out. <laughs>